the field with um, tactically, what was it like fitting in? Um, yeah, it was fun. It's a fun group to play with. Um, a lot of really technical players. So um, I feel like we can find a lot of joy on the ball, which was fun. Um, I think obviously we hope to be a little more like clinical in the final third and um, finish chances, get get more chances, create more chances. But um, it was a fun, fun game to start out. And it's a really fun group to be a part of and play with. Melanie from the Athletic. Yeah, Melanie from the Athletic. Um, how did you feel to finally get that start with Gotham and also get a goal in the arena and production? Um, yeah, I mean, it's never fun to start the year injured. So um, that was kind of frustrating. But um, I think credit to like the team and the staff, they um, helped push me get me back out there, um, made it fun for me. And um, like I said, I think the crowd, w the crowd was great. So um, you never want to fall behind in stoppage. But I think our like reaction to that was really great. And to get the goal immediately after was it was good. Stacey? Can you talk a little bit, Ms. Rose, about some of the bonding that you've been doing with the teammates here in New York so far and what you've been able to do in your time in New York and just getting adjusted to being on a different team and all? Yeah, um, like I said, I mean, I keep, I feel like I keep repeating myself, but it's a really fun group to be a part of, um, a lot of fun players, but a lot of fun personalities. Um, New York, New Jersey has been really fun. I've been gallivanting all over the place. Um, been going to a lot of bookstores. There's so much to explore. So um, that's been really fun. Yeah. Keyword is fun today. <laughs> all right. We'll start with questions online. Janet Smelly from Equal Arts Soccer. Janet. Hi, Rose. Thanks so much for taking the time and congrats on the goal. Um, so I know not to not to bring the fun down, but I know Gotham's only had one win over the first five games. I know you've been sidelined, obviously, for much of that. So I'm just curious kind of what your assessment has been so far of the of the season and just how now that you're back on the pitch, how you hope to contribute to, you know, being more clinical in that final third, creating those chances and uh, getting some more points on the board for the team. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously, like, we want to be getting more points out of the games, I think. Um, not like the most ideal start, but it's obviously early on in the season. You don't want to be peaking um, now. We want to be peaking at the right time. So I think there's like a huge opportunity for growth. I think, um, like I said, I think like going down today, 1-0, but our response immediately after was great. And um, those are opportunities that you get to grow and learn and get better. And um, hopefully we kind of take this game. I think we take the, the past couple games and we just keep like, learning, applying it to the week and um, using it to respond the next week. Um, I think, like I said, I think it's a very, we have a very technical team. We have a lot of really, really good players who like to have a lot of like joy and fun on the ball. Um, so that's really fun to be a part of. And um, I think we're just like missing that final piece in the final third, um, which is just something that it's like, I think it's um, focus and training, focus in the moments, but um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's early on the season and, um, I think that'll come. Awesome. Thank you so much. And congrats again on your goal. Thank you. Back in the room, Chef Courtney. And I'm Courtney. Courtney. That for United. Um, it seemed like every time you touched the ball tonight, even warming up before you came in, the crowd was really cheering you on. Can you talk a little bit about the atmosphere? Um, yeah, it was a nice little welcome. Um, they were very, very nice. Uh, fun to be a part of. I think when you have like crowds like that, it makes playing the game so much more fun. And um, I think we use that to like kind of, propel us we use it to like build momentum I think it's um it really is like kind of like a 12th man out there when you have um fans and an atmosphere that um has that so once again fun we'll end here with Melanie last question so right after your goal you know there was a safe save by Andrew Schoenberger who was signed last week so what can you say just about her impact on the team and what it's been like playing with her this past week Oh yeah. Um, and great. I obviously, I played against her a little when I was at city. And so like, I immediately knew, like, I was like, she's, she's really freaking good. And she's going to like elevate this group that much more. Um, and yeah, I think you saw that today. She can ping a ball. She's great with her feet. She has a good like soccer mind. And then she like comes up in big moments. So, um, she's somebody who is going to make us like so much better. And she's somebody who's going to make us better in training too in the piece that we need to maybe get better out the like final third of the finishing because you're gonna have to be really freaking good if you want to score on her <laughs> okay last last question right here Kate. Uh, Kate's, yes. um Rose oh. for your goal it looked like there was kind of a goalkeeper error Ella put the ball back to you was there a plan where you kind of like aiming anywhere in the other goal line or were you just trying to smash it um I mean I didn't really get the best 
like little foot on that thing, but um, it went in. I think credit to Ella, she really did do like the heavy lifting on that. She just like was collected that and tapped it to me. Um, I think sometimes in those moments, like it's tempting to like just want to smash it. Um, so like I tried to place it, but it really like I didn't get the best contact on it, but thankfully it still went in. <laughs> All right, thank you, Rose. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll have Hedy with Juan Carlos Amores shortly, but not thank you. Go back and forth. We're going to go back to Miss Down where Lynn Williams is. I really love that. Thank you.